Hello YouTube. We are in full on haunt mode. You can see some wall panels there in the background. Um, so what I'm talking about today, I've been carving, as you can see. Um, this year we're kind of trying to do a reduce, reuse, recycle version of the haunt. And uh, these are some scrap pieces of foam. We're doing the Monastery of St. Morgan Creek this year. So we're building this whole, I guess I can stand up, this whole big area, which we usually break up into kind of a couple rooms, is going to be sort of the outdoor scene of the monastery. So we're doing stone walls and stained glass windows, and um, it's going to be kind of indoor outdoor if you will uh, we're gonna be making a cemetery over in that area and then up there you're gonna walk into the actual monastery which is gonna be a big old spooky crypty thingy we'll be covering these wall panels with all this foam that you see uh, copious amounts of foam so yeah what we're trying to do is stone I am kind of skipping around um, I've already carved a decent amount of stone. I'll add in a little bit of how I did this particular type of stone. I've got a couple of different, um, the top and the bottom are going to be different. So this is going to be the top, kind of a stacked stone look. Over here is going to be the bottom, and it's stacked stone, but it's going to be more earthy? I don't know what the best way. Uh, chunky. We'll go with chunky. Um, but yeah, I was just getting started painting, and I thought I'd show you guys. This is kind of fun. So generally speaking, you want to stay as far away from spray paint as possible when you're using foam, because it actually eats it. Uh, it's the acetate in it, I believe. However, that can be kind of fun to use to your advantage, as long as you know to be careful. So we're doing these stone walls, and you can see I've carved them, but this part right here, nice and smooth, besides that chunky right there. Um, so you still kind of, it's still foam. Now that's where the spray paint can come in, and you can actually use it to get a cool stone texture, but know that you have no way of stopping it once it starts. So it just has to kind of dry, and that's the only way to stop it. So here, I'll show you a little chunk. So yeah, we've got this great big clear spot right here. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with some spray paint. And I always try to do like one kind of light coat and then it'll start to eat away with it, but it's a little slow. And then I'll come back in and add a little bit more because when you get these nice juicy spots right here, that's where you're really gonna get a lot of texture. So you don't wanna go too crazy. I don't know if you can actually see it in there. It's Yep, oh yeah. See it kind of bubbling? That's because it's actually eating away at my foam, which in this case we want, because it gives you a really cool stone texture. So yeah, I'll come in, do kind of a light coat, and I figured since I'm already doing this and I want the texture, I might as well do a whole black coat on everything and get my grout seams because that'll save me a lot of time trying to do those with a paintbrush is a pain in the butt. And it'll do a little on this first coat, but then when you come back in and kind of hit it with some heavier spots, those are the spots that are really gonna eat down. So yeah, I can show you over here. I already did this panel. So I can kind of show you exactly how cool it looks. So yeah, you see that stone right there? That was all done with spray paint. So that's, that's all gonna be brick, and you see how it just gives it like a really cool texture. A little bit more stone rather than that kind of smooth foam texture. And this is a lot easier to do with something like this than it is to do trying to carve it. In my experience, I'm sure someone else knows exactly how to do that. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional. I just do this for the fun of it. So this is just kind of stuff I've figured out. But yeah. That's a little painter tip. In All right, so we are back here. So earlier, I kind of showed you how to 
use that spray paint to get a little bit of texture. Let's see if I can find a good example of kind of how it dries. So you can see right there, you get that really nice kind of stone bumpy texture. Um, yeah, looking good. So now I was going to talk about kind of what I did after the fact. So down here we have a piece that's a little bit more finished. Uh, and then there's one over here. Looking good. That'll be filled with some stained glass, some plexiglass that I'm going to paint. So I didn't really have a plan for this year, if you will. Uh, I just kind of went with paint colors we had, I looked at a bunch of pictures and I'm pretty sure there's no stone in the world that actually looks like this, but like I said, I wanted to use paints that we had instead of having to buy new. So what I did have was brown, kind of a nice creamy chocolatey delicious brown. So over the black, that's what I'm doing with the first coat. You can see right there, I've started a first coat. So I'm kind of doing a dry brush technique, but not super dry because I don't, on this first panel, I don't feel like I got enough of the brown. So to me, there's too much of that black showing through. On this one, I used a lot more of the brown and I'm just a little bit happier with it. So I'm dry brushing in that I'm not like full coverage with this, but I'm also not being as light handed as I would be if I was dry brushing completely. So yeah, I can just show you a swatch here. Like I said, I'm trying to make it look like the brown is the primary color of the stone and the black is really more so kind of the grime and the dirt and everything. So the black, I want to stay in all of the grooves and like the, the mortar joints and all that stuff and in more of that texture and detail. But the brown is the color I want the stone to actually look like it is. So, and trying to do this while holding a camera, I'm probably not doing a very good job, but you get the gist. Okay, so you get the idea. We still got the black coming through, but we've got some of that brown on top of it, giving us a little bit more of a brown stone rather than dark black. And then on top of that, I just kind of started playing, like I said, with what we had. So last year we bought some of these Rust-Oleum multicolored um, stone paints. You can kind of see, uh, or maybe not, maybe my head's going to block it. Um, they're like a stone paint and I don't like using them just on their own because I think they just look like splotchy spray paint, but with other things going on, they seem to actually work pretty well. So this color right here, I've been using, you can see for that, the side stones there, I've been hitting those with a coat of that. And once again, be careful because this will eat spray paint, or will eat foam. It's not doing it too much now because I've got the black spray paint down and the latex spray paint down, but like you can see a couple of spots, like that one right there, turned into a great big bubble. Another one up there. Um, kind of a cool effect after the fact. I had to poke them back down so they were all bubbled and nasty. Um, but yeah, and then I hit a couple other stones with that color just to kind of give some variation. And then I came back in with, I've got like a kind of an obnoxious yellow color. You can see 
like I said, I'm using what I got here. So that color, I came back over that stone and did just a really, really thin wash of it to give me a little bit of that like limestone-y, yellowy color and kind of blended it in with uh, some of the original brown. And then I went back over some of the other stones and hit them with that yellow color as well. And then hit a couple of them with just some more of this Rust-Oleum paint. So like that color, you can see like that stone right there, I hit with that color. So just to give a little bit of variation, because obviously these stones would not all be the same color. So yeah, that's sort of how it's going down. Uh, like I said, this is not, <laughs> there's probably no stone in the world that actually looks like this, and but that's okay, because we're unique and original, so yeah. This one again, I will be repainting. These are some chunks from last, ah, two years ago actually now, um, that I used and painted kind of a gray black, and we're gonna repaint those, I think, to like a brown and a tan to match. They'll be the bottom parts. This chunk right here will be up there, and then these random stone chunks will be down there. So, hopefully it will all look like one big piece of wall. And then when you turn the lights off, that's one thing, like, you look at it now and you kind of get, like, yellowy greeny and then kind of a reddish orangey. When you turn the lights off, you lose a lot. Let's see if we can... Oh, yeah, see? You lose a lot of that color variation. So I almost made them pop a little bit more than looks right. Just because then, lights off, and you actually get a pretty cool effect. So, yeah. That is how we're doing it this year. Later.